people, and you're listening to Amon Shabazz live in Richmond, Virginia, here on OmegaTV.com. Yes, that's Amon Shabazz, a.k.a. The Hurricane. I'm a part of a number of different poetic organizations here in Richmond, Virginia. I'm one of the founding members of Tuesday Verses. I'm also the artistic director for Lyric Ave. I'm also one of the former two-time Slam team members of Slam Richmond. Yo, we're doing big things here in Richmond, so check us out. Live again on OmegaTV.com. First piece, Hip Hop Madness. Hip Hop unlocks this energy inside of me. Bad to the bone, I be hardcore like the center of a jawbreaker. The equivalent of my lyrical content for all biters and move fakers. Universal shaker. The original sound vibration that set the clock for Earth's rotation on its axis. Harmony and balance like the wind-blown limbs of the baobab tree that took loose the dark seed to impregnate the earth soil with me. I be the arm, leg, leg, arm, hip-hop head with locks deep-rooted like the feet of a sequoia. Battle MC warrior, so I do headstands and ciphers. Flowing like molten magma, you know, that underground hot stuff. While MCs took spit dumb things on tracks and make themselves feel legitimate, I leave tracks with footprints and imprints of AT and T, cause I give them long distance service. I make the whole crowd nervous, cause I bring love to the art and still spark riots in an audience. Not the masses moving in disorganized accordance, but revolutionists involved in organized thought. But you ain't really living hip hop if you ain't got a cause for which you fought or are ready to die. Not like the notorious B I C H. Keep my mind on lock for those who try to stop my hip hop on the corners and in stairwells of inner city blocks with 41 shots. I raise my fist to resist poison lyrics, trying to paralyze my existence. My bare knuckles penetrate barren soil, breaking through to the surface of hip hop graves. But my soul remains unscathed because I've got Hendrix in my fingers and a train in my lungs, and my heart beats the word of the ancestral talking drum that speaks the truth of how this industry is destroying the hip-hop of our youth. And how in the world are we going to reap fruit of economic independence and freedom when everything's in my mama name? And we play the games, trying to sustain fake bulletproof style images, but the percentages of bullets proving us wrong is too high. See, I no longer wonder why the hip-hop of our community is falling by the wayside when each weekend we'll spend tens and twenties to be VIP in long lines but won't contribute to pools and help build schools to open up our children's third eyes. And I hear the cries of our women as they scream, I want a good man, but end up with a thug between their thighs. But you see, I don't blame you. I've come to realize that my mixture of man is measured by the reality that my manhood ability has been stripped without removal of manhood responsibility. Thus, we create males and not men, irresponsibly, who think irresponsibly and love irresponsibly until our women have become irresponsible to the plea that our manhood deserves any kind of R-E-S-P-E-C-T, breaking down the hip-hop of our family. And the irony of this social alchemy is enough to break down even Iron Mike Tyson into displaying characteristics of femininity. Some of y'all might remember it from TV. If this man doesn't know that I love him, he's quavy. See, radio stations have made our hip-hop ludicrous and lazy, and the morality of our hip-hop has become hazy because we think it's cute when we hear... Put it in a mouth. From the mouth of a four-year-old baby. But just forgive me because I think that that is crazy. But my commitment to this will never become hazy because I give my life for this. And my life is all I have. My rhymes, my pen, my pen. And I stroll through the corridor's memory. Open up the door for the messenger X who was 100% correct when he stated that nothing will connect unless we dissect, reconstruct, reconnect, and protect the dome. 